And that <laughs> is what everyone needs to hear. Yes. And it's just the same. There's an old saying also about men building temples and carrying heavy stones. And a stranger was walking by and saw two people carrying these heavy stones. And he asked the first person, how can you do this? He goes, it's awful. I'm sweaty. I'm hot. And I'm hurting my back. And I just wait for the end of the day. And the other one, he has said, how about you? You're smiling so much. And he's saying, this is great because this is just a piece of the dream. Yes. So it wasn't the drudgery. It was like, when I move this, when I move this one, I'm going to have this gorgeous temple at the end. Exactly. It's not just a stone that I'm moving it's creating beauty. yes so you cannot really get lost you know along the way right you just really have to kind of focus on your vision and what you want the outcome all to those be. phone calls rejection letters the team this person not working out being stolen from people deceiving yes. you all that's the stone okay that's I, part yes, of the yes. building absolutely yes. I'm not deterred by any of it I just really realize that whatever hardships I go through whatever losses I have in life, it's really uh, par for the course and they're all lessons as far as I'm concerned. Absolutely. They're all valuable lessons. You know, if it's in my life, you know, I must need, I must have yes, needed that it's lesson. it's a lesson. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, so everything is really a stepping stone to the final goal. Yeah, which instead of letting it demolish you and say, I can't go on, I was cheated, I was hurt, I was deceived, or it's too hard. I think most people really get stuck in that. Yes. And then they really can't move on to really manifest their vision. Can you give us one secret that you do if someone's stuck or they feel themselves getting off? I mean, I, I don't know if you meditate or what someone can do to every day stay on focus and on purpose? Um, I would say they need to really practice a sense of detachment. And that really, you know, doesn't, the detachment doesn't really mean that you don't care. The detachment means that you just don't let the arrows that are being pointed at you really destroy you. You either deflect them and cast them aside as they're really coming at you. But if they really strike you, you let it go through you instead of really letting the poison and the toxicity lodge there to mm. really destroy you. And a lot of people really wallow in yes. their sorrow, in their grief, in their loss, in their adversities, and they can't move on. They get stuck there. And that's what that stuck arrow is all about. Okay. And I just really, you know, you have to really, uh, I guess, learn uh, detachment and understand the power of transcendence. Okay, so with detachment, how can one, when you're saying they need to learn how to detach, how can they detach? What's well, one tool? Um, I would say you just really look at the overall value. You don't get lost in the details along the way. You so know. you're just saying stay focused on the dream. Stay yes. focused on what you want. Yes, exactly. And don't let anything deter you. Yes. Be because, you know, a lot of people just, like I said, they get stuck and then they lose focus on, on their dreams yes. and on their visions. And um, I just... No matter what, I take everything with a great sense of equanimity because I know what the greater picture of me is all about. Beautiful. And I just refuse to really get destroyed by other people's, you know, terrible negative agendas or, you know, uh, what it is that they want to appropriate from me which happens a lot. Of course it does. <laughs> so um, at age 25, I had really realized the American dream through basically hard work and my focus, and I became this wunderkind success, making the, the equivalent of millions of dollars a year, living the jet set lifestyle, 